Minimally invasive surgery is basically trying to have as little extraneous surgical trauma and impact on the patient as possible. The biggest benefits of, of small incisions are less pain and faster return to work. But the rest of minimally invasive medicine is, and it's not just the surgery part, is trying to disturb the patient's physiology as little as possible so that you get them back to normal diet. You get them up and moving around. You try not to mess with as many medicines as you can to you know, load them full of narcotics that are going to affect their GI tract. It's not just small incisions, but that's a big part of it. Virtually any intestinal resection from the diaphragm on down now can be managed laparoscopically or for a minimally invasive approach with or without the use of robotics, as an example. So the conditions are you know, the big three, diverticulitis, colon cancer, and different forms of inflammatory bowel disease are the majority. And if that, you know, anything that causes a perforation or an infection or an inflammation, if it can be removed open, it can be removed, removed laparoscopically. In particular, if you start getting down into the pelvis, the rectal surgery, um, we do things like rectal prolapse, um, can be done with almost barely any incision it could, because there's no specimen. If we don't have to take something out, we don't have to make, you know, the biggest incisions we make are the size of a pencil. Um, and the other key, too, is to not make a lot of incisions. Another huge, you know, adjunct to that is the addition of robotics getting into the pelvis. If you're working in a, in a relatively closed, narrow space between the, um, you know, the, the middle of the sigmoid colon on down, that is really where robotic laparoscopic surgery shines because it, it disturbs almost nothing and it, and it provides us with uh, wrists on the inside. So the closer I am to sort of standing like a little man in the abdomen and not bumping into anything else, the less impact it has on the patient and the, uh, the truly more minimally invasive it is.